Hello everyone and welcome back to the Shelky P channel. Today I have the Series 11 Build a Mini Minecraft Minifigure Series Completion video. I will put a link in the description to the video where I unboxed and built all 12 of these first figures in the Series 11 Build a Mini series. Um, what I didn't have were the three pack exclusives for the set, which is why this row is blank right here. So I was going to show you uh, those today. And what happened was I couldn't find these in the store, so I went to a website called toywiz.com and I ordered all four of the three packs. And you, if you see, if you saw that video, I was a little confused because I didn't have every one that I wanted. So I called up ToyWiz and said, "Hey, I ordered all four. Um, it was super easy. They said, "Perfect, we'll send you a new one. That's our bad." And they sent me the last one that I needed right here. Um, so today I'm going to show you. This might video might be a little bit longer, so I'm going to show you the building of the three pack exclusives, and we'll have a complete series eleven. So I'm going to move these kind of out of the way here, and we'll start with the Series 11 uh, three-pack exclusive of the Squid. So if you don't know what I'm talking about with the three-pack exclusives, um, there are some of the build minis that are one-pack exclusives. So these right here, um, the Iron Golem, the Pig with the Saddle, the Spider, and the Ghast, um, those are only available in the one-pack boxes. The ones it, with the one star next to them, those are only available in the three packs. And then these are available in one packs and three packs, these eight. So that's how the three packs work. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and I'm just going to build just the squid, because you can watch my other video to see me build these other two. Um, so let me see how these work. I haven't had, I haven't opened any of the three packs to see. These come with instructions on how to build them. Um, so I'm just kind of looking to see how the packaging works here. Okay, and it looks like all the directions are in a little uh, baggie that was taped in there. Um, so the instructions are pretty simple, because these builds are pretty simple. Um, one thing that I will say is that these these tend to fall apart qu uh, quite easily, um, so just watch that if you get if you get frustrated easily. So there's the squid directions. Um, then you've got your iron golem. No, I'm sorry, <laughs> not your iron golem. Um, but you've got you've got your um, your directions for all these other ones. Sorry, I've got uh, something. Else. I've got a cat over here that's distracting me. And I'm not thinking clearly about what I'm doing. Your snow golem. And then this one looks like, uh, oh, it's Steve in Enchanted Armor. Um, so that's your build instructions. So what I like to do is kind of keep these here for reference and then kind of use them. But I kind of do my own thing as well. So we'll see how these all come apart. Okay, I'm going to leave the rest of that. Looks like a nice mess. I'm going to leave those over here. So... Here's my instructions for the squid. Let's see if I can get those to sit up somewhere uh, close enough. Okay, perfect. All right, so they come on these little, uh, what I call parts trees. Um, and you just, sometimes you just have to, you know, turn them a little bit, twist them a little bit, and they come right off. We don't need anything else on that one. And then this is going to be the mouth of the squid, which if you've seen from any of my other videos, I love that attention to detail. So that should be fun to put together. And again, sometimes these are hard to pull off. They do have little letters, and I don't know, hopefully my camera can focus in on that. And that would be the letters that they're trying to show you here. Um, I tend to not even remember what these letters were. So, um, you know, they're pretty simple to figure out if you just look at the pictures. So then we need all the legs. And you will have just a little bit of excess plastic uh, to deal with. Okay, so I just got to get this leg off of there and we should be good. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So you will want to take a note that see like these two are a little bit different, so they won't be exactly the same when we when we plug them all in. So we're supposed to start with B um, and put those longer ones in here. And then we'll put this one in here, maybe. Sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. And then the smaller ones in here. And you can pretty much tell how these work just by the size of them. Sometimes. Sometimes you can't because, you know, the instructions, you know, instruction reading can be complicated. 
especially if you don't read them. So, like me, because I don't think that that really looks correct. What do you think? I don't really think that looks right. <laughs> and this is the problem with not reading directions. Let me see if I can get this to even itself out here a little bit. Oh, I bet this one is supposed to go because this is shorter. That one, we're trying to make even leg lengths here. There we go. See, it, it doesn't really, you don't really need directions. I'm just making it up as I go. And it all is fine and dandy. So sometimes you just need a little bit of force to get these in. And then, so that looks about right, doesn't it? And then, no, you're right. This is supposed to be on the bottom because if I would have watched my own videos, I would realize that the mouth comes out the bottom of the squid. So let's try this again where we are actually putting these in. Oh my goodness. So maybe, you know, some direction reading on this one would have been helpful um, to my cause, but, um, you know, I, that's not really how I fly most of the time. So who needs directions anymore? Not me, man. I got it. Okay. Okay, come on. All right. And as you can tell, this is also why it makes my videos longer. Okay, now this looks exactly like the picture over here. And then, again, all you have to do is just really make sure that you're paying attention to what you're doing. And then I'm sure there's a better way to put that in there. That's right. Okay. And then we put this guy up in here. And sometimes there will be little pieces of plastic left over from when you pulled it off the parts tree. Um, but that one just slid right in there. And there is my built squid. And then when you turn him over, you do have that mouth. So again, one of my one of my favorite creatures. But, you know, it takes a little bit of effort to figure out how to put them together correctly. Sorry about that. But, you know, it was good entertainment value. I'm sure that you were wondering if I was ever going to get him built. So, there we go. Okay. So let's move on to our next three pack exclusive. We will do the silverfish next. Okay, again, get our directions out. You know, I don't know. I may use it, I may not. It might be fun for you guys to watch along and go, no, 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 look at the directions. It says don't do that. But, you know, we'll get them out anyways, just for fun. Oh, this has one of my favorite ones in it, that zombie in flames. Okay, now this one's a little bit weird. It goes, like, directional across there instead of the other way, like most of them build from the top to bottom. So, okay, let's see what we got here. Lots of little parts, it looks like. My favorite. This could definitely be a choking hazard. I'm sure it says it all over the boxes about being a choking hazard with small parts. I don't plan to put any of this in my mouth, but I will, I'm well warned. So, all right, let's get those out of here. Okay, so part A to part G. Oh, I don't know if I got some extra there. Okay. All right, again, see, reading with letters would have been a good idea. So this is A, so I gotta find B, which has, should have the matching end to this. Is that correct? I don't think so. You could also play this game, which is also very fun. I'm gonna do it this way. There we go. You can just keep guessing and turning the pieces until they fit. There we go. Like I said, always an adventure. And there we go. Now that one was pretty simple. So that's your silverfish. He's pretty crazy looking. I like him a lot though. Not one of my favorite things to ever meet um, when I'm in a cave, but you know, pretty cool to put together. And so most of those don't take too long to build. I was just having some issues with our squid friend there so 
was probably one of the more complicated builds. So, okay, now we're going to get our guardian going here. Oh, another one that we build from one end to the other. Well, doesn't that look complicated? Lots of X's and Y's, A's and B's. All right, oh my. Well, then I'm just going to assume that some of these are the same and some of them are not. Because they have the same letter, doesn't that mean they're the same? Okay, so I am taking these parts off here, and then we'll get to building. And I think this is a part that I need as well. Okay, all right, let's see if we can figure out this guy. All right, I don't need that. Did I get rid of his face? I may have gotten rid of his, oh no, there it is, okay. All right, so it looks like we do like this, and then B, okay. Oh, I see, all right, his face goes in that little hole. And then we do the one that doesn't have a curve to it. And then we do another B, but this time it has the X, closes around the X. Oh, this one's going together super quick. Okay, oh, and I left a little bit of plastic on this one, again doesn't take much to take that off of there. And then this one goes in here, and then this one goes up against here to close that all in. And then the tail piece goes in there. Again, another super quick build. Um, that one was pretty self-explanatory. So there is your guardian. That was a pretty, I didn't know how complicated that would be if these would be all in their own individual uh, sticks to put in or what but that was pretty simple so there's that and then I left the unboxing of this I didn't even cut it open yet so I'm going to cut this open for you and I hope it's the right one in there because if not then I'm going to have to contact Toy Wiz again so this could be an epic fail let's see let's see if they got it right oh they did there's the wither skeleton perfect okay so this is the last three pack I need for the series 11 and it's going to be the Wither Skeleton. I will tell you that the last skeleton that I built, or the well, at least the zombie that I built from the one packs, he was he's kind of complicated to stay together. So we'll see. Okay. And directions. Okay, and a lot of the times they don't, it's really hard to have them keep those weapons in their hands, just to let you know, if you're building these at home. This may be something that, you know, after I get the set done, I might go back and super glue them together because they just don't want them to lose some of these really valuable, you know, pieces, like their, their whole entire set of uh, weaponry or something. So these pieces, like I said, very small. Um, and you may have to just keep the parts tree around just to make sure that you didn't get rid of something that you actually needed. I've been doing that sometimes too. We may have a visitor here soon. My cat is wandering around. He loves little parts of things to knock them off the table. If any of you have cats and understand that, you will know that's a favorite thing of cats is to take something very tiny and shoot it across the room. All right, so let's see. This one should be pretty simple. Uh, we put his body in here, like so. And then we put his feet on, like so. Okay. And then arms in. The arms definitely go in weird in this series. Um, sometimes it is definitely dependent on the angle that they're supposed to be and then you have to put them in at the right angle sometimes they just you really just have to shove them in there and hope for the best that they will fit someday because <laughs> sometimes they don't really work and so that one was another quick little build it's a it's really complicated to keep that little sword in there um, but that is your wither skeleton from the series 11 build a mini series 
Oh, see, told you. Just the slightest bit of pressure. So that might be something, like I said, I might end up super gluing in there one day if I get brave. But at least when they're in this uh, collector's case, they will not fall apart uh, too far without, you know, keeping it in the case if this would fall out. So I wouldn't lose it that way. So let me put him in here. And so that is series 11 finished, completed, and that means that I have, if you watched my last video, series 1 through 11, every single minifigure in all of those series. Now I'm going to turn this around because I am waiting on the next series. And I do have my subscribers out there telling me that they're seeing these at Walmart. And I went to Walmart today, couldn't find any at my local Walmart. So I will be keeping my eyes out for those. Um, but if you see them anywhere else or you see them online, uh, definitely drop me a comment below and tell me where you found them. And keep watching for more unboxings. I've got a, something a little bit different for you. I'm going to um, open up some of the other exclusives that don't really go in the sets. Um, so again, uh, leave any comments below. Don't forget to click subscribe and click the notification bell to get a notification every time we post a new video. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.